Good afternoon, Facebook Live viewers. I'm Rebecca Sosmarski from the Register Mail, and today we are going to talk about a city grant that the city of Galesburg is applying for that will help low-income homeowners. And today I'm here with Judy Gunseth, the Housing Program Coordinator for the city, and Wayne Carl, Director of, is it Planning and Public Works? That's correct. <laughs> That's a long title. <laughs> So can you guys first, before we start, describe a little bit about what you do and um, how it ties into this grant application process? Go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, well, I am with the city. I've been with the city about seven months now, um, and I am the housing program coordinator, and I'm managing, um, in some respect, the grants that the city is utilizing with housing programs. Um, but before I became to the city, I've done... Um, many different jobs and I have 16 years of grant administration and execution experience and so just getting involved with that. I'm also involved with uh, ordinance preparation for the rental inspection program and working with rental inspection as well. So housing from several different perspectives. So this is really in your wheelhouse then? This yes, it very much so is. <laughs> and Wayne, go ahead. Um, I've been with the city about 17 years. I'm a civil engineer. Um, I've been the Director of Public Works since 2015 and the Director of Planning and Public Works since January of this year. Um, the water lead service lines that are under Public Works and the Water Department have been an integral part of our conversation here at the city for a while now. And this kind of plays into this um, Help Eliminate Lead program. We've been working with uh, DCO for that and so that's kind of how I'm involved with it. Yeah, and we'll get to that in a little bit too as far as like who's administering the grant and who the city has been working with. But first, I'm um, just to explain for our viewers, um, the city's working to apply for the HELP grant, which stands for Help Eliminate Lead Program Grant for Low Income Homeowners. And before we get into the specifics, um, can you explain what types of lead containment or elimination projects the grant covers? Well, I kind of have to back up a little bit. This is very much a pilot program with the state of Illinois. Uh, um, and it, specifically the Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity. From now on, I'll use the word DCEO. Um, this is very much a pilot program. It's brand new. So we're not, um, we, we're not looking to, um, to do a massive thing, but we're looking to reduce the lead safety hazards in the homes. And so that can take on some different parameters in each home on a case-by-case -case basis. That can mean um, making the lead paint, scraping off the excess, painting over. It can mean new um, windows. It can mean new um, doors, things like that, where they're going to try to find that. It isn't going to be dealing with um, uh, water service lines as much, but they're going to be looking at the house as a whole. And so primarily uh, reducing the lead safety hazards but also if there are other code hazards, like other health safety violations, they will be addressing those as well that may not necessarily be led, but they're also going to try to, in other words, they want to make the home safe, not just in the lead realm, but most of the um, money and everything will be focused on reducing that lead safety hazard risk. Great, and yeah. can you just uh, describe, Wayne, a little bit why the city wanted to focus on the paint in the houses in particular rather than the water service lines? Well, since the beginning of uh, finding out that we have a problem in Knox County with high uh, blood lead levels in children, city council and city administration have worked hard at trying to identify what are the primary causes. We've worked with the health department, and we've worked with the state, um, and this HELP program is, is a product of those meetings. So we're, this HELP grant is in cooperation with the health department who will be doing some blood lead level testing as part of the grant. We'll also be replacing some lead water service lines as part of the grant um, through the EPA grant that the city's get, received, uh, as well as looking at the lead paint. Uh, one of the things that we found in meeting with the health department is lead paint is a major contributor to blood lead, lead levels and we didn't have any funding programs for that. and so. This pilot program is set up to be um, a unique study type, so hopefully the results of the study will determine where money is best spent. Is it best spent in replacing lead service lines or best spent in um, doing lead reduction in people's homes for lead paint, that kind of thing. Great, and going off of that, Judy, maybe you can help us on site. How much does it typically cost to abate lead paint in a home or eliminate it? Well, um, we are not actually going to be the ones that are going to uh, carry the administration of this out in terms of the contractors and things like that. Um, and I talked to Jeff Kozad with w, uh, Western Illinois Regional Council, which is WIRC, 
and he says it really varies from home to home. But it, it is a $500,000 grant, and we're looking to uh, take care of 25 homes with that. Okay, now you can do the math on that, and you might come up with some averages, but Jeff assured me this morning, he says, we don't want you to get into too hard and fast numbers because every home is going to be dealt with on a case-by-case -case basis. Some homes may need more, some may need less, and so it's not that we're actually going to go in and say every home gets X amount of dollars. And so what they want to do is they want to address the issues and address them in a, in a proficient manner and then move on to the next home and deal with those, those issues. And so, um, you know, like I said, 25 homes with a half a million dollars, you can, you can kind of do the math on that. Um, there are also, you know, just as Wayne said, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting in terms of uh, who we target and it's not actually going to be a target because it is a pilot program there's a lot of things that um, yet to be determined about how this grant is actually going to be carried out great yeah that's a lot of good that can be done too with half a million and 25 homes like you say um do you think the work would be then mostly removing lead paint or uh, replacing doors and what would the scope of the work be would you say well, I think based upon the way that they prioritize and what they've done with other grants is that they are going to be looking at each home on an individual basis. And the, th the thing is, is that I went to a tr grant training symposium a couple weeks ago with DCO. And really right now, Galesburg is the golden child in the state in terms of receiving money for this. And so it, it is a pilot program. And a lot of how what they're going to do in each home is, is yet to be determined. So a lot of this stuff has... Um, has yet to be decided in terms of timeline and exactly to the extent of what they're going to be doing. Uh, I do know that they, they, they do, and we have to be careful that we're, we can't call it a, a let abatement because there are some things that uh, what they're going to do is they're going to reduce the lead risk and so that involves a lot of different things. It involves special contractors and special testing and so as those things go through we'll find out more exactly what was going to be the focus on these homes. And so um, I, we're going to be a little bit uh, reluctant to make any kind of commitment to exactly what is going to be done in each home. It, it's basically a lead, uh, certified lead inspector will go through the home, identify all the lead risk, will develop a action plan for that individual home on what things need to be done. Um, I will say typical items would be lead paint that's peeling, but it could be siding, it could be windows, it could be other sources of lead, but they'll do a whole house inspection of lead, uh, certified lead inspector will, and that's how we'll, we'll develop the work plan. Great. And I know that you said um, that this is still a pilot program, so some details aren't all the way worked out yet, but what's the income range do you think, um, or are you expecting it to be for um, homeowners to be well, able to get this? It does have to be low income. Um, and, and for right now, we go by HUD's income limits, and that's based on a county by county medium home income. And right now, and I do have a cheat sheet in front of me, but uh, for a typical family of four, 80% um, of the median income for the county of Knox is uh, $48,300. And so uh, you would have to meet that low income, uh, it's called low to moderate income level, uh, in order to qualify. And that is the one thing that we do know for sure that, that it's gonna be the parameter, that it will be low income. And the other thing is that it will be most likely owner occupied homes so uh, but the but some of the focus and we do plan to partner with uh, Knox County Department of Public Health we, we are going to be looking at because it is a test project we're looking for best practices and what reduces the lead the most and so there will be some testing some before and after testing of children in the home so that might be another consideration in terms of uh, home and project selection will be uh, young children in the home. And um, the city intends to apply for the grant on October 13th then in two weeks. Um, when do you expect to hear back as to whether or not the city got it? Well, the city, um, I, like I said, we are kind of the chosen person or entity in the state. Um, and so we more likely will get the grant because it is a pilot program. Some of it is just a matter of going through the uh, the steps needed to apply for grant and doing it in terms of how it should be done uh, and sometimes that sometimes takes passing through uh, hoops on the government level but what will end up happening is at some point in time we will get a notification of award but right now because it is such a new thing 
uh, you know, I, I can't even guess, but maybe two or three months. But at, at that point in time, uh, I'm sure that the city of Galesburg will be working with uh, WIRC and the DCO people to coordinate uh, a good implementation timeline to uh, get started on it. Yeah, we expect it to be done in 2018. I will back up and say that the, this uh, is a product of a, we had applied with the DCO jointly and the Knox County Health Department for a HUD two and a half million dollar grant through HUD that we were not selected for this year. And so this program was developed after we found out we weren't going to be selected um, to, in order to move forward some on it. We're gonna reapply for that two and a half million dollar HUD grant next year with DCO, but the city was the only community with DCO at the state level that was targeted for that HUD grant. And so when that didn't come through, then the city of Galesburg is the only city that's gonna be applying for this grant, this half a million dollar grant. So we know that we're gonna get the grant. It's just a matter of when it's gonna happen. And like Judy said, we still have to go through all the, the normal rules for the HUD program that we're going through to get the funds. So we have to have the hearing tomorrow night and we'd like as many people to come out. Obviously, families are great for the program, even though the, the rules aren't defined yet for sure what our targets is, or I, I think fam, young families that meet the low amount of income that live in their own home are the main target audience for this grant. Sure, and just so the viewers know, uh, what time does that start tomorrow? 6.30 tomorrow night in council chambers. Uh, there will be some kind of a sign up process uh, signing up is just to, to record who was here for the meeting. It's not signing up for any program. So I just want everybody to know if you come to the meeting, you will be required to sign in because that's part of due diligence in saying that uh, for, basically for public interest. Is there interest from the community? And DCO is looking at that. They're, 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 it's good for them because when, they, when we do write this grant to HUD in the next year, this is the response that we get from it. But it's not signing up for the program. So tomorrow night, there is no opportunity to sign up for grant funds. It actually is just a public information meeting to say uh, this is what's available. Does anybody have any opinions? A lot of times when public funds are expended, there has to be some type of public hearing so that the public can vet it out. And and then and then the public health department will be here tomorrow night as long as as long as well as people from WRC as well as people from DCO. So we're going to have quite a crowd here tomorrow night of people and we'll have several levels of presentations to talk about information so uh, it's it's going to be uh, it might be a, a bit of an evening but I think it'll be a very informative evening. Right and the city just finished up we sent out a mailer to all our water customers advise them where we're at with our water replacement program and our corrosion inhibitor program and the steps they can take to eliminate the possibility of lead uh, for their children but there'll be a ton of information tomorrow night the, the health department like Judy said is going to give a lot of good information about how children are poisoned with lead. So I would encourage everyone to attend that can. Uh, the, in addition to the WIRC for this specific grant, the health department is going to talk about ways that you can reduce your child's chances of getting lead poisoning. So it's very informative and I would encourage everybody to attend. Great. Well, yeah, it sounds like there'll be a lot of opportunity to ask questions and everything. So yes. um, until then, I thank you both for joining with us today, giving us a little preview of that. And thank you to the viewers for joining us on registermail.com.